hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where i get solutions to all your solving problems it's nine seven in class again today how have you been on today's video we are going to show you how to use um, a vector data to clip raster data in arcgis that simply means we have um, a satellite imagery here yeah? and then our area of study is this um, red polygon so we want to extract or we want to clip out the extent covered by this um, red polygon not this old word image right good now there are different ways to assess the clip we can come to geoprocessing go to act toolbox then um, under act toolbox and then data management tools we come down to raster then we have what the raster processing right now we click on clip or you can rightly close the toolbox and then maybe you search for it here yeah, maybe clip raster or so good so we are on the same window so the input is always what the raster so you know it's very important to look or maybe to read through this description because we are going to see the effect as we proceed on today's video now the input is the raster you use this drop down since the imagery is already loaded in your layers panel else you just browse to assess it right so now we have different bands let's say let's use um, band 7 then the output extent now a raster data set of facial class to use as the extent which means you can also use a raster and a vector that's um, what it means now if official class is used as the output extent and you want to clip the raster based on the polygon features check use input features for clipping geometry now this part is very important because um, it actually adds to the product the output you get now we are using this um, asaga which is what the um, the vector data to clip this our raster right now if we don't use if we don't check the same um, use input features for clipping geometry the clipped raster we are going to get would not have what will not be clipped to the actual boundary there will still be some residuals so if you want your raster to be clipped exactly to the boundary of as it has been stated there when we read through this um, option now and you want to clip the raster based on the polygon feature right if this option is used the pixel depth of the output may be promoted therefore you need to make sure that the output format can support the proper pixel depth so what we are trying to explain here which is actually important is that if you want your output to be clipped to the actual boundary then you need to check what use input feature for clipping right good so i haven't done all of those the next thing is for you to just determine what the output um, raster data set good so we have folder connected let's give it a um, clipped clipped underscore asaga and then the data type is what um, the raster data set click on save there was an error message that um, the name of the data set cannot be more than is it 13 characters so we have to reduce it from clipped to clip asaga then we click on ok good let's um, bring this down now we can turn off the imagery layer and then zoom to layer the clipped right good so if we also try to uncheck the extent we are going to see that we have actually clipped our raster yeah a band of the satellite imagery towards the extent or yeah we have clipped it to the extent of the vector data we are using so with this now you can proceed with your processing or whatever you intend to do with what the um, imagery that covers your area of interest or maybe your area of study so thanks for coming to class we hope um, we've provided solution to this particular solving gis remote sensing related problem we are going to see you on the next video ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye